Hi guys, it's Sydney, um, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the perfect smoothie bowl. Um, Alright, so the first thing that you will need is a blender. Um, my blender of choice is a Vitamix. Um, great blender. And it comes with this little like pushy thing um, to help it blend. And you're going to need a bowl. Or um, you can also just make it into like a smoothie that you can drink. So a bowl or a large glass. Um, and then you will also need some frozen berries. Um, my favorite is this Costco mixed berries bag. And you will need a liquid in your smoothie. So my liquid of choice is oat milk. Um, and you can use anything you want. Um, almond milk, oat milk, regular milk, water, juice, pretty much anything. Um, whatever you like. And then I will also be adding some vanilla yogurt into my smoothie. And then I will go over the toppings when that comes. All right. So first, what you're going to want to do is take your berries. And honestly, I wish I could give you measurements, um, but I can't. I don't measure anything. So just dump in or get a handful of how much you think you want. So I'm only making this for one person. So I don't really need, oh, okay. Yeah, okay, that should be good. Also, I really like to add spinach um, to my smoothies, but I don't have any spinach in the house. So not today. But, yeah, okay, so now you've got this, and we're going to take our vanilla yogurt, um, you can use plain yogurt, you can use fruit yogurt, pretty much anything, uh, but it really gives it like a really good texture, um, so I'm also just going to dump a little bit of this in, no measurements really, just kind of free balling it. Okay, and then I'm going to take my oat milk, shake it up a little bit. Not open. Okay, so the thing about frozen fruit is that it really will not blend without um, an adequate amount of liquid. So what you're going to want to do is put a good amount of liquid in. Not too much though, because it is a bowl and you want it to have that nice bowl consistency, which is pretty thick. So, yeah. All right, now taking this and putting it on there. And obviously you can add more stuff to this. This is just what I like to use as like a basic base thing. I know they sell like uh, acai packets that you can use and those are super nice too. All right, so now I'm gonna turn on my blender Inside. and I'm going to put it to, there's like a smoothie option, I kind of prefer looking at the numbers, so I'm going to do that, I'm going to start it. And really you can blend it up uh, a lot of times because it probably won't blend on the first try if you're really trying to get that like consistency of a bowl. Okay, this is a blend to the consistency that I want. Perfect! Oh, this is a really good consistency. Sometimes I mess it up. Yay. I'm gonna smooth out the bowl. So what I'm doing right now is, see how it's kind of just like a lump in there? I'm like using the spatula to like smooth it out more. Okay. Perfect. 
This is an art. Okay, awesome. So I have the base looking like how I want it to look. Um, now, I'm gonna close that oat milk. Now is the fun part, which is the toppings. So I think today I'm gonna go a little bit more basic with the topping. Um, my fruit of choice is this banana. Um, so I'm gonna cut that up. Okay, I've got my little knife, my banana. Now, if you don't like banana, um, there are a variety of other fruits that you can put in your smoothie bowl. Um, some of my personal favorites are pineapple, um, strawberries, blueberries, pretty much any mixed berries. Um, but I really do like banana, so that is what I will be going with. And it looks really pretty. I feel like I'm a garden. Okay. I'm picking up the entire banana, but it's sliced. So you gotta be really careful. Cutting it in the bowl. Okay, and I'm spacing it out a little bit so that the bananas kind of look more like, you know, aesthetic. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Now that we have that done, um, we can go to the other toppings. So I'm also going to be putting a scoop of peanut butter on top. I really like Justin's peanut butter. Um, and then I'm also going to use this uh, blueberry granola, just a little. And I'm going to use a few chunks of pineapple. And finally, I'm going to drizzle it all off with some honey. I think I'm going to start with the pineapple and I'm going to put it near the banana just so I have a little fruit medley going on there. All right, perfect. Now, peanut butter. And I usually put just like one big scoop of peanut butter in the middle of the bowl. This really adds some protein to the bowl. Um, there's fruit and there's a lot of good nutritious things in here, but this definitely adds a little kick of protein. Okay, and finally, oh, not finally, granola. Add a little bit of granola around the other side. Honestly, this isn't my favorite granola. I usually use just like plain, uh, like Nature Valley granola. It's really, really good. I recommend it. Okay, I'm making a mess. And now, finally, we are going to top this all off with a little bit of honey. Also, your bowl does not have to be pretty, okay? This is not the prettiest bowl I've ever made. And honestly, as long as it tastes good, it does not matter at all. Oh, I love honey. Okay. There you have it. That is how to make the perfect smoothie bowl. Let me show you the final product. This is the final product of my smoothie bowl. I have some banana, pineapple, peanut butter, granola, and drizzled all with honey. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this smoothie bowl. Um, have a great rest of your week, and thank you for tuning in. Bye.